Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to episode 11. We finally made it into, well, oh, that was a weird glitch in my face. We finally made it to two numbers instead of 10. So today's episode, as as I had stated in previous episode when we went to the, when we got ourselves a lot of XP farm, is we're going to be starting construction of our lovely with a skull farm. Now this design is going to be manual, as, well, in the future it might make it automatic. But yeah. And just here, this, I went out between last episode and I got myself a couple more elytras as well and quite a bit of stuff. And I also got myself a looting three sword, a looting two sword, which is in the shulker box here. But yeah, first off, I think I need to pop through into the end and show you where we're going to be building our lovely farm. Okay, we are now in the nether, and I did not mean to say in before, but I was meant to say nether, and let, let's see if I can take off and not, oh, let, let everything load, I don't know why it's lagging out so much. So, well, I'm going to be creating a pathway here shortly, come on, let me take off, and I'll be re getting rid of this pathway eventually, but we have to fly up over through here, whoop, <laughs> fly up, and it's not that far away really is I located ourselves another nether fortress let's just go down in here and this is where our farm is going to be situated it's going to be covering over this entire area inside this wall this ring what's it called stone bricks is going to be the outside wall where we will be oh, let's be chucking this down for a moment as we will be creating ourselves some lovely rose red and we will be creating ourselves some glass panes and the glass panes will go around the outside nice and simply this, this might be a little bit of a paint actually bald but the glass panes going to be going up can i can i place it up there come on there we go and then we're going to be having ourselves a lovely slab roof going over top of the entire structure so what we need to do is, I'm going to chuck down that shulker box there, and place that in there. Cut ourselves our last lot of, oh jeez, ran out of room. So yeah, I'm going to go through, and with our nether rack that we that I've just showed, that I've got in here, is we're going to have to create a giant platform going out, covering over this entire area. And what we need to do is, well, I'm going to give you guys a progress update. What I want to do is I want to clear out all of this nether rack going directly above it just by a little bit to remove our spawning platforms and also clear out this platform down here as well so we've got room to prevent the mobs from spawning on down there so that's what i'm going to go and do try not and die in the progress and yeah i will see you guys once i have cleared out this area i wish i had the replay mods and then i could just do it as fly around and speed it all up but yeah that's what I'm going to be doing, and I will see you guys back very shortly. Let's quickly see if I can fly up around here. I was fly this could be a perfect area for a gas farm, by the way, in the future, because it's such a big, wide open area. So yeah, this is what it looks like for now, and I will show you guys what I've done when we are back. See you then. Okay, everyone, we are now back, and this is what the area is now looking like. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? This huge giant area now cleared out of Netherrack. That's that's what it's called, isn't it? So between now, between last last clip and this clip, I have died twice. One of them I died by a phantom, and that that was in the overworld because I did a little bit of AFK fishing, and I died and lost my elytra. Another one was I came swooping in because I I fell into the lava. Shot myself up using the rockets and landed back down here. And yeah, I landed right here and my stuff exploded everywhere and also lost my elytra and a whole lot of gear again. But anyway, let's get right into working on this build. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be starting on the end. So by the end, which I mean the lovely caption area for the farm. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start building that. Okay, so for this caption area, we need to get ourselves these lovely slabs and that here. I'm just going to clear myself a little bit of room here. A couple of stairs, and we need to also get our hoppers and all of that. 
So I'm going to move those over there and I'm going to get myself some also nether brick and just make a little clear area here. So for this here, it's nice and simple. Let's clear out this three centre block here. Eh? Okay, I've gone here and widened this area here. So what we need to do is I'm going to quickly grab ourselves a couple of daylight sensors because we're going to have our centre going all the way down here. Oops, do not want that to happen. Then we have our slabs upside, whatever you call them, a top slab going along on either side. So let's just quickly, oops, let's just try and get this at least started. And this is where it's going to be going along. And then do I have some clear glass in here? And then this is going to go along the entire inside. And I'm going to have a piece of clear glass glowing along like this here. I'm, I'm, I'm over gas, so they keep spawning in and they just literally destroy everything you build. Or they literally just destroy you as well. So we have those bits going there and we have our lovely chest that goes there and a lovely, sl lovely slab that goes there. Don't know why it's done that for. Oh yeah, it's normally, it's normally uh, stairs that go there. So we're going to do our sides going along like this here. And sorry if my breathing's a little bit loud, I've got a little bit of hay that going on. So it goes along like that there, nice and simple, and we grab ourselves some lovely stairs either side and place those down going around like this. And since we need to have our backs done, or a back down on this here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chuck ourselves a little protection area that will stop this with the skip wall is high enough to three and then I'll have a roof going across over the top like this. Okay people, so this is what I've done for a little design here. We're going to go ahead and add in a couple lovely glass slabs. So this is just a little protection to stop gas from shooting us when we are killing the lovely withers. Okay, so now that we've got the protection in place that they should be now safe. So the withers when they come along, they lovely walk up these stairs here and they come round and we are able to down in our lovely protection area We'll swipe and hit them and their lovely wither scales will get landed here or their, or, or their loot. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place down all the daylight sensors going down the centre here. Nice and simple and I'm going to go ahead and place down all these slabs here and I'm going to place down all our lovely glass panes. Okay, so I've gone ahead and placed down some of the daylight sensors here and I'm going to carry them all the way right through to here where we're going to have our lovely door coming into the place here. But between now and the next clip, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this little section here completed. And I'm also going to go around and place in all our lovely glass panes. I want to put all these glass panes in so that before we build the giant spawn platform, we do not get attacked and destroyed by mobs. And yeah, I'm pretty much going to also put the slab roof on as well. But I'll give you a slight update in that eventually. Well, yeah, I'll give you an update on that very shortly. See you then. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say that I've also done a huge amount of button placing, so most of the Nether Fortress so far has been covered in buttons to try and, and help encourage the spawning of these with, with the skeletons, and by the end of today's episode, we should have ourselves a lovely beacon. Oh yeah, sorry, another announcement as well, I also managed to get ourselves another a lovely wither skeleton, the first one, which was actually amazing, I'll insert a screenshot of when I got it now. So yeah, that's pretty good, and I'm going to get back to putting in these lovely fences, or lovely wall things as you can see here, but now I'm going to start putting in ourselves the lovely glass going around the outside, so that might take a little while to get that done, but it shouldn't be too bad at all. Well, this is just going around and placing down three blocks, and just running along and jumping, and oh... Wish I could reach three blocks, that sucks. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all this here, and I'll see you guys back once I've got that all done. Okay, everyone, the glass is nearly done, and I can't believe, like, how hard this is on my eyes, like, trying to place it as one block. Okay, now that there is all done, and I think I might have slightly overestimated how much glass I'm going to need. But I might use that for when I expand the farm further that way in the future. 
when I want to make this a lot more bigger, but it's going it's to be pretty big. So now I've got to do the lovely task of getting lots of slabs and creating the lovely roof. Okay, now I've crafted up a whole lot of lovely slabs. I'm going to have to go along and I'm going to pretty much go ahead and place down all these slabs, which is going to be quite a fun task. I'm sure I'm going to stuff up quite a few slabs, but this is just so I can get the farm lovely and sorted before I start actually placing stuff down. So I'll see you guys again once I've finished placing all this down. Okay, just a quick progress update, people. I'm about half an hour in so far, and it is taking a very, very long time. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm half an hour in, but I had to go and get some more resources of that, which in that time I did not count. But yeah, it, it, it's taking quite a while, and I haven't even put the base in yet. But once this is done, it's going to look pretty good and snazzy. So I'm going to be back once I've completed this entire roof. That's probably going to be in a few hours' time, so I've vastly underestimated how long this project has actually going to take. I'll see you guys then. Okay everyone, I've just finished placing on the roof and this is what it is now looking like. It's looking pretty good, well pretty good to me. Gonna work now, I've just got to go ahead and place down all the lovely... Oh, hello, hello there. Ow, don't, don't kill me. Oops. Go away. Go away. Go away. Don't want you. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to really go ahead and place in all this lovely nether rack. That's what it's called, isn't it? I'm pretty sure I've got some extra bits here as well. There should be some metal poles around here. Hopefully, there we go. All I need is two more of these, and then I can get this build nearly sort of completed because by the end of today's episode I want to kill the wither that's what my plan is so I need to go ahead down to the end and place it in two extra bars okay now that I'm down the end all I need to do is go in and place these bars right here because I forgot to chuck them in earlier so that should go there and that should go there and now I have the fun task of going along and placing in the final blocks going along for the spawn platform so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place in all of this platform here. And once I've done that, we can get, finally get in to get ourselves some lovely wither skeletons. I'll do a little time lapse sort of thing once we get to that there. So yeah, I hope you guys will yeah, I'll see you guys very, very shortly. Okay everyone, here's a quick little update. Looks like the place is working pretty good. We've got a whole lot of wither skeletons spawning in here, so... It shows that this place is working. This guy has just sent me because I just jumped up just before. But anyway, I'll be back again once I get this finished. Everyone, I am now glad to announce this farm is now fully complete. It did take quite a while to get it done. But now is the time to go ahead and get ourselves some lovely, lovely wither skills. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how it works. So I've got a looting bow here. I've tied it up with my stuff. Got my, oh, I might grab my ender chest while I'm actually at it as well. And what we have to do is you have to go through. And if you see any wither skeletons, you have to lead them down to the end. So in theory, these blades should not be able to see me, I'm hoping. If not, I'll have to put stairs here. So what you can do is the wither skeletons can see you and you pretty much look at them. As soon as they catch on to that you're there, you then lead them down to the end. This one can't quite see them. And then they should lead around. They, they, they should in theory lead around to the centre of it here. I don't know why they're not doing that. Let's remove this one here and see if that gets in there. Okay, let's chuck that there. That, that looks a little bit better. So, is it the Lucy one? They should be going right to the centre. I don't understand what's going on here. Oops. Nice and perfect. There's a Lucy one. Eh? Yep. Go ahead. Oops. Music and sound. Turn it down. Sorry about that. And then all I'm going to do ahead is I'm going to go ahead and I might try and actually get a few 
uh, Pikmin to follow me as well. And then we should get ourselves a lovely skull in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do quite a bit of killing between now and then. And I'm going to insert a Spongebob little timestamp. Like five minutes later or however long it takes me to get myself some lovely, lovely wither skull heads. But yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and like try and get a couple pigs as well. Can I get them, get them for a single? Yes. No, I can't. But yeah, I'm going to try and just go ahead and... Can I bop you on the head? I can't. No, that's, that, 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 that's sad that I can't quite bop you on the head. Can I... Let's have another tip to see if I can aim... Aim one with the... Well, I'm just trying... There we go, perfect. So I'm going to also do that with Pikmin. And I'm going to try and get myself some gold because I want to be able to make a beacon in it there very shortly. As soon as I get my three skulls. Okay, I'll see you guys very, very shortly. Five minutes later. We're about half an hour in and got one wither skeleton so far. Or skull, and look at all these withers around. There's so many of them. Hopefully we get at least one skull out of this. I think it's like a one in ten chance, maybe. Maybe, it's probably a lot, it's probably a lot less than that. But hopefully I can get myself another one shortly. I am getting three more because that first one I did get I've named and it's going to go on my memorability wall that I've started. So I'm going to... Yeah, so I still got the one in there. Oh, that... It's like sticks or something. Clashing together. Beautiful. Just, come on. Hopefully they give me one. Oh, yep. One popped off just there, perfect. So there we go. After 15 or half an hour, I think I just said this before, I think yeah, it's been half an hour. We've now got two. And I'll be back once I get the lovely last one. See you then. Okay, everyone, I just managed to kill four more withers, and it's probably been in about half an hour since the last little clip, and I managed to get another two with the skulls which is amazing so i'm going to go ahead and take this gold and we're going to go kill ourselves a lovely wither now let's head over there and do that now okay people we are now back at the base and it's time to go ahead and kill the wither first off i'm going to go get my three skulls oops and i'm going to put out lovely blocks of iron and gold in here to protect them so i've got my first wither killed here and i'm just going to go and add that there to a little memorial it's going to go up there, 15th of December 2018, that wither was killed. And yes, I do realise that it does say 15th of December 2018, and this video is releasing in January, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a delayed one, this video. But yeah, I'm going to try my best to try and keep all the videos coming out in that there and through January and through to February, but this will be the last video that will be released for quite some time, because between now... And next video, I will go ahead and do quite a bit of uh, killing and that there to try and, well, well, not killing, resource gathering for my next projects. So now I'm going to do this the old fashioned way, just dig all the way down here. I'm going to, I'm going to kill them down in that room there. So let's create a little couple hiding holes so in case we get attacked. I've got them in my inventory, so yep. And let's go down here and let's give them some room to spawn in. I really hope this is going to go well because I've had missions where I've died before. And so we're going to do that there. Whoops. That there. And I'm just going to fill up those little holes there. Let's see. Let's just clear out another little area because I want to get a little screenshot of what, me doing this. So right up here. Oh yeah, that would look okay, I suppose. Let's get this thing <laughs> spawned in. Uh, one, two, Uh, 
Okay, yep, sorry for going quiet there. They always scare the crap out of me, Willis. Why can't I hit you? Ow. Why am I on fire for? Did I just hit me with my own arrow? Okay, let's go in and try and kill this guy. Come on. Oop, lag. Come on. Nice and beautiful. Yep. Oops, been withered. Oh, let's just drink some salve, some lovely milk. <laughs> Finally, we have ourselves a lovely nether star, people. Now, oops, let's get back into this mode here and let's quickly run down and try and create ourselves a lovely beacon. I'm not sure I've got the resources for it though. But, oh, I thought I had an empty chest on me. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm now back and let's go create ourselves a lovely beacon. So, three across here, up and around, and we've got ourselves a beacon, ladies and gentlemen. So, what I need to do now. Go ahead, and I'm just going to put that milk and that there up there. And we're going to make ourselves a full powered beacon. I'm hoping we've got enough supplies in that here. You can see the iron farms are working pretty well at the times I've AFK'd at it. So let's get rid of that block there, and let's clear out this little area here. So hopefully I've got enough room, because I want to have this flat with the floor. Here we go. And that is the beacon, I believe. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to use, I love the sound it makes, eh? I'm pretty sure I've showed you the sound on the server. So I want to have haste to eventually, oh, let's just turn up that volume to hear that lovely beacon. How do I do that? Options, music and sound. It's such a beautiful sound. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create this into a full power beacon and I'll see you guys very shortly. Okay, people, a quick update. I have place down the base and I'm not sure if I've made this too big or not but this is gonna this requires a lot more blocks than I remembered. Jeez I'm gonna have to go ahead and get a few more blocks and I'll be right back with you guys in a split second. Jeez people I underestimated the size of it. I did have an incorrect and all my measurements undone so I'm just gonna go around and tidy this up and I'll be back again once I fix up the beacon. And get it working. Oh yeah, and by the way, it has an interesting sound when you break the main block here. It sounds like this. You hear it powering down, which is quite cool. Okay, back to the back to work. Quick, quick up to people, I just hear slime. I think, yes, I think we have a slime chunk over here. That's good. Function F3, B, oh, function F3, G. So it came from up over here, so I believe this is our slime chunk. And this is where I, I wanted a slime, wanted to build a slime farm, so that is awesome. Okay, now to get this beacon fully finished, go away slimes. Function F3, BG. And what, what was I doing there? Getting this up and running, wasn't I? I need as much iron as I can, because I've, I've run out of it so often. So that's why I'm just replacing gold around the sides because I'm I don't need gold for pretty much anything. Eventually this this whole beacon will be turned into a gold beacon. And yes, you can see those diamonds on my inventory. I was gonna use them if I ran out of room or ran out of blocks to build this beacon, but I believe I am now okay for it. Okay, now let's get this Let's see another block from down here. Let's get this baby up and running. There we go. We've got a beacon either. Bring a full beacon's power and let's chuck in one piece of gold. Haste, haste two. Done. Oh, I can't wait. To, I can't wait to start doing this. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Oh, it's so satisfying. Let's get rid of those blocks here. Just running around, being able to instant my blocks. I love it so much. And you, could, you guys saw how much I loved it in my little base tour of the server, Kite MC. But yeah, it, it's it's amazing just being able to mine away stuff this quick. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much going to go ahead and I'm going to mine out pretty much mess areas, huge areas, and I might clear out the area for the lovely slime farm, which we have over here, function F3B, no, function F3G. So I'm going to go ahead and double check that this here is a slime farm. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out all of this space here. Gather a whole lot of resources because in the next episode, episode 11 I believe it is, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Where is it? Let's kill, kill you off because I don't want you to ruin my outro a bit. Okay, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this episode. I hope everyone enjoyed and next time, episode 12 I believe it is. I have no idea what we're going to be doing. I have no idea. We could. I've got ideas for working on the base because the base needs to be done up and build a nice building on top of that, expand it out, make the eye look a lot more prettier, and also work on getting a pigman farm done. On top of that, we're going to get the slime farm done. We also want to go ahead and get other things done as well. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.